Hey guys. hey guys so today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what we usually do just because it's a true crime true crime case just something that i'm really into um just for the record this is just information that we found on the internet and decided to put it into our video um but we mean absolutely no disrespect to anyone like involved in the case or anything like that this is Alexis Patino, and she was 22 years old. She passed away on November 20th, 2017. She was the oldest of four girls and described as ambitious, beautiful, a vibrant soul. And she was loved by many, and she also just loved life. Her family also, just well, her mom described her as, like, when she would walk into the room, like, um, it was like a celebrity came and like everyone was like oh alexis is here like you know really she happy that she was there vibes. yeah she was also born in the san fernando valley and raised in hemet in high school she was involved in many things including um varsity cheerleading student government and honors classes after high school she worked at starbucks and had associate's degrees in math and science and she was also accepted into Arizona, Arizona <laughs> State <laughs> University. She really wanted to study nursing just because she really wanted to help people. And two weeks before she passed away, she started working at an elementary school as an after-school coordinator. She did have a boyfriend that she met through a mutual friend. The boyfriend moved to New York, and then when, they, when he moved back, um, they decided to both move in together. Um, they were dating for a year and two months while they decided that and um, friends like his friends or like both of their friends did describe him as like controlling and jealous and just not not that many it was a things. toxic relationship yes um, so yeah he was kind of like that so the day before the death um, the family would actually meet well okay so the family would actually meet um, once a week just to get together and, you know, be with family since she did move out of her house and moved in with her boyfriend. Um, They're also a very close family, so that's why they decided they to meet close once, a, once a week. So on Sunday, the day before she passed, um, she did stop by her mom's house and, you know, she was going to go out, got her makeup done by her one of her sisters. Um, she actually did have plans with her mom. But she canceled them to go out with her boyfriend. And she did tell her mom, I, I will see you, like, you know, tomorrow. I will make it up to you. Um, and sadly, that's not what happened. So the night of November 19th, Alexis and her boyfriend went to Tilted Kill. One of Alexis's friends actually worked there as a bartender, I believe. So that friend was their server. There was people saying that they were possibly in an argument and during the argument the boyfriend actually got up and left an hour later alexis did leave um kind of sobered up her friend did like give her water to kind of sober water up down. yeah when she did get home she did make a couple phone calls one of those phone calls were to her sister so the first time that she called her sister it was kind of just like sniffling like like if you know like someone's been crying so after a while of that the call ended and alexis's sister did call her back but she didn't answer so she kind of just waited until alexis called her back and when she did it was kind of just like a normal conversation um they were just like asking each other what they were doing and alexis did kind of hint that her boyfriend wasn't home and that he was kind of just like being annoying so hinting that something had gone on between She also was kind of being repetitive. Um, she kept asking her sister like where she was at and even though she had already told her a few times where she was at and what she was doing. Um, her sister kind of just like played it off like oh maybe she was drinking a little bit and well she was home so her sister really wasn't as worried because she was home safe. The last call that she did make was to her boyfriend and it was around 11 o'clock at night and they also talked for about two minutes around 2 30 or 3 in the morning alexis's boyfriend came home 
but he said that he couldn't get into the apartment because um, it was locked and also the safety lock was locked. So he tried knocking and like calling her and everything, but she just wasn't answering. So instead, what he decided to do was to go ahead and call the police to try and get into his apartment. But that didn't really work out much. So he ended up just sleeping in his car and around 6.40 or 6.50, he woke up. Their apartment, this is how her sister explained how their apartment worked. So their apartment was the third on the third story. So he climbed three stories up and they also had a balcony. Okay. So he got onto the balcony and he noticed that the kitchen window the kitchen window was open. So he stepped on the railing and kind of like pulled himself into the kitchen. And he said that when he got in there, he found Alexis on the floor bleeding and unresponsive. So to him, he believed that she committed suicide. At 6.57, the police arrived and they said that she had one single stab wound to her abdomen. While this was all going on... And blood coming out of her mouth. Oh, yeah. She also had blood coming out of her mom. While this was all going on, um, the boyfriend actually texted Alexis's mom saying, when was the last time that she talked to Alexis? So the mom got kind of worried, you know, and she started texting the boyfriend back and forth trying to figure out what was going on. And the boyfriend told her that he had found Alexis. So the mom obviously rushed over there and to see what was going on. Around 11.20 in the morning, the boyfriend was arrested for murder with malice due to lack of evidence. Um, he was released the next day. He also had an alibi that he was at a casino that night um, before getting home, and the cameras did show him getting home at around three. However, there was a gap though. There was a gap between the time that he got home to when he woke up. Yes. Or when he, he woke, woke up. up to find Alexis. So there is a gap between there. Not saying anything, we're just saying that, that well, there yeah. was a gap. We're just stating all the facts. the facts that are there. The family did rule out themselves that suicide was not yeah. what she did to herself. Just because, again, she, she, she loved life. Um, she made plans for the next day to see her family and everything. And also she had a lot going for her, like with school, like her just basically stuff for her future, like preparing her for her future. And she wasn't like, she didn't show any like emotional signs as well. Like mm -hmm. everything was fine with her. Yeah. Like they did say that she would drink, but there was no just obvious signs. Like on occasional yeah. days, you know. Obvious signs of depression, like they weren't there. So they they knew that she there was no way that she um, would have hurt herself. <laughs> the police actually don't think it's a suicide just because of statements that they got from like friends and family that you know like she wouldn't do that to herself. Her death was ruled as undetermined, and an autopsy was performed and showed that she had different nine different cuts and bruises all around her body. I think her sister mentioned that there was one above her eyebrow and one on her chin but i don't know where the rest of the the cuts and bruises were but they were just all around her body her boyfriend was invited to go to the funeral but he didn't show up they were saying that you know like they invited him saying like please come like if you had nothing to do with this like, like we want to we here. want you to be here like. but he didn't show up and three months later after her death he actually got into a new relationship. Three months. Three months after she After she passed died. Away. Not after a breakup, after, after she, she passed, passed away. away. Which is crazy to me, but, I mean, again, no disrespect. Everyone moves on, like, differently, I yeah. guess. It is still a cold case. Uh, there is a... What? A petition. There's a petition, a to, petition. Get to, to get detectives to look to at, look the, at case the case again. again because since it is... A cold case like they really didn't have much um evidence to like look at or to determine like whether it was him or whether like it was somebody else 
they really have nothing to go through so there is a petition that people are signing that sam has signed that i want to but still haven't but will yes. eventually and it's also gonna be in the description if you guys could please sign the petition just because you never know what can happen and if there is new evidence in the case obviously that petition will help the detectives look at it a lot faster also there is a friend um of hers that is going well is trying to help the family out as well she actually just graduated from, from school, law school from law school so she is trying to like everything the family is doing she's trying to do as well but now that you know of course you have connections so she's trying to like look into detectives and all that to try and see what she could do to help the family with that there is also a clothing line that her mom actually started it's called yours truly lex and it's basically just to keep her memory alive and also any money that they get from that clothing line from all the sales that they have it's going towards a private investigator they've been thinking about hiring a private investigator to obviously like get more answers for them but it's very expensive and they have to be paid i think her sister said by hour mm -hmm. so like obviously it an hour. it um builds up so and they she, need they need help and she did mention that you know it's not like even to put aside the cost of it they don't want to put so much in not that they don't want to but they don't want to have to like put in all that money to just be told the same thing like you know what there's not enough evidence like if there's anything else like you know so basically they just they want to also like they'd rather be like a little bit safer for now and take things slowly yeah but um i'm also gonna leave their website down below in case you guys want to check out their clothing line and you know show your support that way with buying something yeah i think that's basically it for alexis's case um i really really hope this her family finds answers and you know just because they really didn't deserve it and obviously like no I mean, family no deserves, family it, deserves it, yeah. but like I just this case just like makes me so mad and like it just hurts my heart like to see them having to go through this, especially with the fact that they have no answers. I really hope they find answers soon. I do too. I really, I really do too. It's it's not fair that they have to go through this. But I mean, not anyone actually. Yeah. Did. I guess I was just gonna say something like I mean for everybody just to like be safe like whether you're a girl a guy young old like doesn't matter it's just mm -hmm. stuff just it, it happens unexpectedly so and also just um her family has like been trying to get her case out also just as awareness for um domestic violence so please if you know anyone that's like in a bad relationship like speak up for them like it's like not whether, as, whether not they, as easy whether it's like your hey okay, even if it's not your place like it just better safe than sorry because you never know like yeah just be careful and be safe i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is just kind of like the first of many like it takes a long time to like get all the information so oh we are gonna like actually really like not be as fast not not that it was fast but like kind of i don't know we really didn't like explain a lot yeah. but we we're just like but it's trying to get it out there like we're not trying case, to do it we're just trying to like i guess inform you of yeah. like what like know. different cases that are around there like that don't really get as much coverage as they should like each case should get as much coverage as the last one like they should all be equal because they're all important so that's what i wanted to do like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll be back with another video. Bye, guys. Bye.